Hello again, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's about 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday, September 10th. And this is your FTV end of the day video. And I like to take apart the S&P 500 ETF a lot because it's such a good tracker. And today, uh, the morning we talked about, if you watched my morning video, I uh, nailed a few of these key levels here with this higher swing low after uh, uh, equal swing high. Marched higher, saw the market internals confirming all this and at my noon video we saw this lower swing high being formed in fact we got a subsequent resolution of that again with the symmetrical triangle whether you've got these extended right or not you can see that uh, did a nice job of resolving to the upside we were a little bit more bullish than bearish at the time and uh, when this started rallying back up even this move back up in this area of resistance through here at the 104.20 area we were using this 104 area support marched higher. It was resistance for quite some time, many, many days in fact, and uh, we finally marched higher, put in another symmetrical triangle, and resolved out of that. Uh, another good consolidation at 104.60, if I can just talk through it here for a minute with you. Uh, kind of had another lower swing high situation like we saw back here. This time it resolved to the downside and did a perfect gap fill. Even though it's not a gap, Large bars like this can oftentimes, and I say large with a grain of salt, it's a little three minute chart, but uh, larger than most of the bars on this chart, uh, can act as a gap. A lot of resistance there to the downward movement, aka support, and that held up nicely. In fact, we've done 100% retrace again of the high, and that's incredible. A little late day sell off here after the close, but increasing volume all the way up. So when you look at the bar, that we formed. Here's a little 15 minute chart. Here is a 60 minute chart. Very, very nice run. Very good breakout. We watched all these things happen. And now we finally have a nice higher high, closing almost on its high uh, on the daily chart. Again, 107 would be a great target for this. I'll be a little bit far away. Next, uh, these round numbers, of course, 105, 106, uh, they can often act as resistance on the way back up. Uh, so again, this is just in context of uh, the broad markets. Use this as a filter by which to gauge your uh, particular stock trades. Looking at the market internals, if I can do that like usual, uh, 0.7, that's fantastic. We did drop nicely below the one level. And we were talking about this as something to watch out for. It's a tiny bit of a divergence, still in the neutral range, but then we resolved lower, which is great. And this finally also resolved into a more normal range of 0.5, which is great, after being a little bit overbought. And this is the trend queue. Uh, the tick spent most of the day above zero which is great. One notable dip here on that sell-off. And uh, the VIX uh, did a nice job of selling off most of the day, but then rallied also. So when I see the VIX rallying like this and mirroring the close of the market, that's not necessarily the best situation for a continuation the next day, even though we did close on our high. So just view this as a bit of a divergence, and uh, we'll go forward from there. So great work with everybody. Hope everybody's having a great time trading. And... Uh, Good stuff. Talk to you tomorrow morning and uh, afternoon, and D7 will be back with you for the Friday uh, close.